In a first ever visit, U.S. Ambassador to Pakistan visited to Punjab Police Headquarters where he met Inspector General of Punjab and lauded Punjab Police's struggle against terrorism and extremism. It was an excellent encouragement and morale booster by the American Ambassador for the Police Chief. Only problem is that Punjab Police has not been fighting terrorists but has been very busy fighting, abducting, terrorizing killing and torturing political workers of the Imran Khan's party for the past 16 months. The same Imran Khan who was removed by an illegal vote of no confidence as demanded by another Donald Liu of State Department some 16 months ago, as revealed in the now leaked diplomatic cipher. For the past 16 months Punjab police have been busy in some of the worst human right violations while quashing political protests by Imran Khan's supporters. It seems U.S. Ambassador has come to congratulate the infamous Punjab police for job well done. A job well done which includes following heroic accomplishments, police operations against political workers and illegal incarceration of over 10,000 political workers of Imran Khan's party, beating up women for taking part in political activities, torture and killing of special child illegal raids and vandalization of houses of political workers, no respect for privacy and sanctity of house women folk, extortion and blackmailing of political workers under garb of crackdown. These are just a few examples of the heroics of Punjab police for which they were congratulated by the U.S. ambassador. From Donald Liu to Donald Bloom, U.S. has not shied away to show their true feeling and intentions. They openly demand, threaten and then congratulate for job well done.